Hi, so as the prolific archaeologist that I am, I just uncovered another relic by Carrie. So that's what this video is about. But I have a few things to talk about first. So the first thing is, in the last 12 video, some of you complained that you couldn't hear what Michael had to say when he was advertising his Twow merchandise. So I'm just going to play the video again, but with no music. So here we go. And then the second thing is, there's only like 11 hours left to vote on the 2016 Battle of the Fantasy Foods on Wikia. So you have to vote for Yoyo Cake over Black Forest Cake so that Yoyo -Yo Cake wins. So if you haven't voted yet, go do that. That's real cool. I'm not going to be too desperate though. Ah, oh, go away. Oh, and one more thing. Michael is working on a BFDI animation right now, and we need help with a few lines said by Needle, who we can't voice anymore because our voices are too low for that. So if you think you can do a good Needle impression, then do these lines which I'm about to play right now. Ready for what? Ooh, getting watch? Also, call me Needy. My bounce house! It's also in the description. So, record yourself saying those lines, and then post it online somewhere, and then send it to me in a YouTube PM, and I might actually use it. And we will give you credit and thank you, so it will be worth it. So after all of that, we can finally get to what the actual care relic is, which is, it's elemental, and you'll, you'll see what it is when I show you. Oh, it's so small. Okay, I have to fix something. Now it's a bit bigger, so this game is heavily based off of the older game, Doodle God, which is a game where you combine elements to produce new elements, and the goal is to find all the elements that you can create, and I think they're like thousands, and you start out with four. But I said, there's 65 elements to get. I just checked the flash file, that's where I found the number 65. I was planning on having thousands, but this is unfinished, so there aren't thousands yet. And I, I looked in the code and it should be really easy to add new ones, so maybe I'll do that in the future. There was also going to be pictures in this space, like the spaces above the elements, but I also was lazy and I never did those either. So maybe I'll do that too. Here's how it works. You combine elements like this, just click and click. So air plus earth equals dust. And you just keep trying to combine stuff until you find stuff that works. So air plus fire equals sun. I guess that's what my 13 year old self thought. Oh, by the way, the date is March 14, which is Pi Day. Very cool, right? All cool stuff comes on Pi Day, including that Abacaba video. Wow. Oh, but that's a secret, so you're not allowed to know, know that. If I bring this game to completion, I should have 65 elements, and right now I have six, so I'm only one tenth the way there. Water plus fire is acid. Oh, another feature I have? Oh, actually, no, I won't show it to you just yet. Oh, I know this. Sun, sun plus sun equals stars. Stars plus stars equals galaxy. Oh, no more than that. There was a way to get a solar system. I'm not really sure how. Earth plus fire is lava. Earth plus water equals mud. So the thing I was going to say is if you bring any element over to this family tree icon, it creates a family tree of where the element came from. And I know there are bugs in this because I got really frustrated trying to fix them all and I just never could, but it seems like it worked here. So air plus fire equals sun, and that happens four times to create four suns. Then each pair of suns makes a star, and then you know each pair of stars makes a galaxy. Pretty cool, right? So let's see. There's no total count here, so I have to add them up manually. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 11. So I'm still not close. Um, I know that if I do fire plus sand, I get glass. So how do I get sand? Okay, that's mud. Swamp. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, I need a rock of some sort. Lava plus air. There we go, rock. And then rock plus water must be sand. Yeah. And then sand plus fire is glass. Ooh, look at that, a new category. 
Right, I started out with only four, now I've got six already. You can see how much this is a clone of Doodle God, because Doodle God did it the same way. Um, and then I know that this is a pun, but sun plus glass equals sunglasses. How funny! And look, another category! Water plus air is steam. Cloud, wow, look at that. Cloud plus water is rain. Look, now that I got the beach, the scroll bar actually has a use now. Pretty cool. Oh, I got a, a, I got a volcano. I remember as I was trying to get all the elements in Doodle God, once you're near the end, you're just trying all these different combinations of things that don't work, right? And that just seemed very frustrating to me, and I would always just be waiting for the time limit so that I could get hints, and then the hints would make it easier. But that didn't seem fun, just endlessly trying things until you found something that worked. So, I had this idea in- oh, I got a new one, metal. How did I create that? Fire plus rock equals metal, that's pretty cool. But my idea was, I didn't want any combination of two elements to not result in anything. Like, every combination should result in something so you feel like you've accomplished something. So, my plan was, create a crowdsourced doodle god, where it starts out with only the four elements, and if a user combines two, but there isn't anything in the database that that combination creates, then the user gets to submit what it create, what those two create. And... You just keep doing that forever and ever. But in order to make sure that trolls don't don't create vulgar or meaningless elements, you, there's a voting system. So when there is an, um, a combination that doesn't result in anything yet, it's kind of like an open forum for people to, to discuss and talk about and vote on. People can vote up or down other people's suggestions, and once it hits 10 upvotes or something, it becomes official. And then once it becomes official, then someone will draw an image for it, and then the same voting forum discussion thing will happen on the images, too. And then it just pretty much creates its own game. And also, because there's like the number of possible combinations grows exponentially, I definitely want some combinations to result in old elements, right? So if you already have, let's say, cloud and wind that create, and you already have storm, maybe that also creates storm, which is totally fine. So in the submissions for what should this create, you can also drag in an old element and that would work. But that seems like a lot of work and I don't feel like doing it. But I don't know, it is pretty interesting, and I do think it would be cool if you could just end endlessly combine things and not have to worry about it saying, nope, that doesn't do anything, that just doesn't work. So, maybe that's another project on my list of thousands of projects to do. Oh, a new one, what was that? Alcohol? Water plus acid? I don't think that's realistic. It's more like grapes plus water. Grapes pl plus sun plus water? I don't know. Okay, I don't drink alcohol, so I have no experience. Okay, yeah, this is so inspired from Doodle God, because I didn't know- Like, I probably didn't even know what vodka was back then, so... I was just copying lots of combinations, you know, word by word and all that. Element by element, I mean. Let's see which of these elements has the largest family tree. I bet it's still galaxy. Oh, but I do re Oh no, mountain plus mountain equals something. I do know that. Sea continent. Planet. Solar system! Look at that, that's crazy. Oh, and look at that. See, it's it's like doubling exponential growth. Um, so like we can see mountain. Mountain is just this. I don't see any bugs, by the way. It seems like it works perfectly. Yeah, so maybe I'll continue this, actually. It, it looks pretty polished for something I made in 2011. This game definitely feels like I, I tried very hard to make it look pretty. That's what I'm saying. 29, 31. So I have 31. Am I really gonna try to get the other 34? Um, I don't. Sometimes I feel like the double element creations, like mountain plus mountain equals continent, are just lazy. I mean, I. It doesn't feel fun when you just like double click and you create stuff. But I'll try it. I do think there's some way to create life, but I forget what it is. I think you need a storm plus. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay, that's weird. Storm plus mud equals chemical. I don't... I don't even... Wow, I created DNA. Interesting. I think... If, oh, that's an interesting family tree. It's lopsided. Oh, I can see why the chemicals... There's three chemicals, but they're, they're staggered. They're not equal. But I do think if I were to continue this, I'd, I want to remove that, like, way of creating DNA. It doesn't seem realistic. Okay, none of this is realistic. I mean, if you start with air, earth, water, fire, that's not realistic either. I mean, this is not a universe simulator after all. Should I give up? 
What about acid rain plus all the earth elements? Maybe it erodes some of them. I don't think so. Acid rain is very specific. Let's try rain. Oh, rain plus metal should be rust. Or maybe water plus metal is rust. No, that's not anything. I think we're done here. I do think if I want to make a second version of this, it would be the crowdsourced. Oh, I made a new thing. What is this? Meteoroid. That is galaxy plus rock. Yeah, if I do make a second version, it's the crowdsourced version where there's voting and um, discussion among everyone over what it should be. But do I even have the skills to make that? I have like 40-ish elements. Are you proud of me? But that's it for this video.